Hello everyone, Tom from Censored Gaming here. The Persona series, and by extension the Shin Megami Tensei franchise as a whole, had a rocky launch in the Western world. Back in 1996, a then inexperienced Atlas USA would handle the localization of Megami Inbumroku Persona, a title which literally translates to Goddess Odyssey Persona, a derivative of its parent series title, Shin Megami Tensei, which itself translates to True Reincarnation of the Goddess. It seems Atlas deemed this title a little too complicated, as it was changed to Revelations Persona in the US. Revelations was clearly intended to be the Western branding of Shin Megami Tensei, as it was also the title of the first localised SMT game, Revelations The Demon Slayer for Game Boy, known as Megami Tensei Gaiden, Last Bible in Japan. The efforts to westernise the first Persona game don't end with just the title, however. Many alterations were made to remove its Japanese origins. Many of the characters have radically different redesigns from their Japanese originals, and they have been given different names. The protagonist has been given lighter skin, a different hairstyle and colour, and his earring removed. K Nanjo, renamed Nate Trinity here, has also had his skin lightened and his hair colour changed. A similar treatment was also given to Eriko, renamed Ellen, and Maki, renamed Mary. The main cast that retain their original character designs are Brown, renamed Brad, Ayase, renamed Alana, Yukino, renamed Yuki, and Reiji, renamed Chris. Most of the minor cast have had their names changed too. The list is slightly too long to go through individually, but the main ones are the villain Kandori being renamed Guido Sardinia, and the names of the two little girls, Mai and Aki. Both names are an anagram of Maki, since they are both part of her in the story. In the English version, they are called Mei and Maggie instead, using the first two letters of Mary. Humorously, some of the name changes are likely Batman references. Nate's butler is named Alfred, and a couple of its minor cast are named Bruce and Selina. The biggest and most controversial of these changes is the character Mark, who is, ironically, one of the few characters to retain his name from the Japanese version. Mark is black in the US release, and everything about his design, sans his pose, has been radically changed. Since black people are significantly more common in the US and Japan, this is suspected to be another result of transposing its setting. The original setting was a fictional, yet very Japanese town called Mikagecho, complete with Shinto shrines. Here it's renamed Lunavale, possibly as a reference to the moon phase mechanic in the game. This trend of renaming aspects of the game is absolutely everywhere, and doesn't apply exclusively to Japanese words and names. The Agastya tree is now the Augustus tree, and many of the demons, personas, skills, and items have different names too. This video would be far too long if we went through them individually, but you can read many of them on screen now. A reoccurring theme with the name changes is that they are somewhat dumbed down, and trade their original name, which usually has mythological roots, for a name that is easier to understand. For example, Titania, the Queen of the Fairies from A Midsummer's Night's Dream, becomes simply Queen Fly, Mo Shivu becomes Kimono, Leprechaun becomes Ghoul, possibly because of its appearance, Durga becomes Dwarfen, and so on. Although some of the changes seem to come from lack of research, and are direct Romanized translations. For example, Armati is called Almighty. Armati is the wise patroness of the Earth in Zoroastrian mythology. It is not a clumsy Japanese rendering of the word Almighty, as the localizers must have assumed. Anyone familiar with the more recent Persona or Shin Megami Tensei titles may be confused by the different skill names. Agi, Bufu, Zio, and Garu are now Fire, Chill, Force, and Wind, respectively. Mudu and Hammer skills are now also Holy and Death skills. Also, the in-game currency was changed from Yen to Dollars, and the price of items have been dropped. Changes were also made to the game balance itself. The encounter rate was lowered, and the amount of experience gained was increased, possibly to make the game easier for new players. Many lines of dialogue are different from how they are in the Japanese version. A plot point in the original game about Nate wanting to become the number one in Japan has been removed. The poem outside of the school is a particularly infamous localised line. In order to get into the school, your party must prove that they are not the demons or zombies that have invaded Lunavale. To convince them, they use the poem, Roses are red, zombies are blue, but my face is white, so you know I'm true. This line is slightly unfortunate with the race change made to Mark. In the PSP version, which is a much more faithful translation, that part of the poem is rendered as, I don't want brains. Finally, we get to perhaps the biggest change from the Japanese version, the removal of the Snow Queen quest. The Snow Queen quest is the game's second route that is completely different, but just as long as the main Seabeck route. It follows a different story and has different dungeons and characters. That's right. Owners of the game back in 96 were essentially missing half the content from the Japanese version. Remnants of it still remain in the game, such as this FMV cutscene showing the four towers from the quest. The content still remains on the disc, but it is untranslated and dummied out. There are two reasons why it was removed. 
One reason is that Atlas wanted the game out before Christmas, and the Snow Queen quest was simply too time-consuming to translate. The other reason is that Atlas themselves found it too difficult, and the method the player uses to unlock the quest was found to be too obtuse. The quest was restored in a 2009 re-release for the PSP, titled Shin Megami Tensei Persona. This new version sports a more faithful localization than its 1996 release, with all of the names, portraits, demons and items retaining their original names and appearances. The series has since embraced its Japanese roots, with later games making no effort to disguise its Japanese setting. In spite of its highly criticised localization, Revelation's Persona remains something of a cult classic, with copies of the game being highly sought after by collectors. With Persona 5 releasing April 4th, 2017, with a confirmed faithful localization and zero cut content, it's interesting to go back and see how the series was initially launched in the West, and how Atlas USA has improved its localization practices. I've been Tom from Censored Gaming. Thank you for watching.